Shalom, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahsha, Bashem Kakadash, the ones to the elder apostles, a great millstone. Uh, salutations to you, I can teach all truth and sincerity. Uh, this week is going to be called Yahweh's, Yahweh's Jewelry, because uh, these, um, these heathen nations, you know, try to hide us for my true heritage and try to hide us that we were the true people of the Haobashi and Al Shah. You know, they tried to, you know, uh, blot out the name of Israel uh, from remembrance, you know, try to make us think we were, you know, black, Latino, Native American, which those are, those are by words. When we're the Lord's true chosen people, and, you know, we were uh, put under captivity under these heathen nations for our punishment, you know, and, uh, you know, these, these heathens, you know, took crafty counsel against us to keep us, uh, still under, under them as captives, you know, so this is, uh, Psalms, Psalms 83, verse 1, it says, keep not thou silence, O Yahweh, hold not thy peace, but be not still, O Yahweh, for, for lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. It says they have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. It says they have said, Come, let us cut them off from being a people. Sloppy. Come, let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance, so we won't remember our heritage, so we don't turn back to Yahweh, and um, you know, so that kingdom can continue, can continually keep going on, you know, so they, you know, never fall, and never, uh, pay for all the atrocities and all the oppression they, they put upon the nation of Israel, which is the apple of the Lord's eye, you know, <clears throat> But anyway, I'm going to go to uh, Baruch, because uh, these people, you know, Baruch, you know, they, uh, it's Baruch chapter 2, and verse, uh, it's Baruch chapter 2, verse 36, where I knew that they would not hear me because it's a stiff-necked people, but in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. So, <clears throat> we, uh, you know, nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, we're, we're a stiff-necked, you know, nation, you know. It, we're, we're very hard-headed. You got to talk to us, you know. The prophets had to come to Jake more than once to tell them, uh, you got, you're going off, you got to turn back to your how about you outside? And, uh, you know, and we're in the land of captivity now, and we're remembering our heritage and turning back to the Lord, you know, you know, faithfully. Uh, we go to Zechariah, uh, Zechariah chapter uh, two, and uh, it's Zechariah chapter two, verse uh, verse eight. It says. This is uh, Zechariah chapter 2, and verse uh, verse 8, it says, For thus saith Yahweh of hosts, After the glory have he sent me unto the nations, which spoil, which spoil you, for he, he that touches you touches the apple of his eye, which I, yeah, these nations, they touch the the apple of the Lord's eye, which are the children of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, they try to blot out the name of Israel, which they're going to pay for that. Try to not, try, try to make us not remember our heritage, which we're, uh, considered the Lord's jewels in his eyes, you know, um, and that's what, uh, that's what, uh, 
that general Adolf Adolf uh Adolf Hitler knew that. You know. He knew that the people of the Lord were the so called black uh of America. He knew that that the children of, of, of Israel were uh dark brown skin colored people, copper colored people. They weren't the the so called Jewish people in that in those in those uh in Germany and uh, in all the parts of Europe. All throughout the parts of Europe. He knew exactly who the people of of the Lord were. And that's you know and you can read about that in his um in his um he wrote about it and he spoke about it. So and and those elites, those those elite generals, those elite leaders, they know who the true children are of the Lord, you know. Um, but this is uh this is Brute four and six, it says, Ye were sold to the nations not for your destruction, but because ye moved the most high to wrath, you served you you were delivered unto the enemies. Because we we were sold into captivity because we we uh made our, our power angry because we went after and took his, you know, lost academic, he went after idols and uh took his lost extra amendments and he got angry and the curses fell upon our nation and then we were brought into captivity. And that was for our punishment, you know. We moved him to anger and wrath. And that 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 uh that uh this captivity is only for a moment and soon we're gonna be out of captivity and uh brought back to uh the land of Israel and put back in power. You know, uh this is because uh, 'cause we're above and chosen above all nations. We're his special children. We're his people. This is uh Deuteronomy seven and six it says, But thou art a holy people unto Yahweh thy power Yahweh thy power has chosen me to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. It says, because we're above all you nations. You know, we're we're the, we're his children. We're the representation of him on the earth. So, you know, he he put us in captivity because we angered him. And we transgressed against him. So he's going to turn that around and bring us out of captivity and put us on top and above you. And then you're going to see that we're we're above you and you're beneath us, you know. And it's going to be known, uh, and that's being known now. But it's going to even be known more when we're in the kingdom. Who who you know who you know who's above and who's beneath, you know. Uh, but anyway, because we're his special people, because we're seven. Um, Yahweh did not set his love upon you. Nor choose you because you were more in number than any people. For ye, more, for ye were the fewest of all people. So he didn't choose us because we were um, fewest, you know, more than any people. Now verse eight says, because Yahweh loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he has sworn unto your fathers, have Yahweh brought you out of the out, out with a mighty hand and redeem you out of the house of bondage from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. So the Most High loved us above all, above any nation, because we're His people. He created us to be a representation of Him on the earth, um, and we're considered His jewelry. You know, that's what uh, that's what that man. Um, that's what Hitler said, you know, the jewels of the Lord are were taken by the Americans. Uh, this is uh, Malachi 3 and 16, it says, Then they that fear Yahweh spake often one to another, and Yahweh hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him. And... For them that fear Yahweh and that thought upon His name, because um, uh, it says in Scripture, when two or three are gathered in My name, I am in the midst. Uh, 
I believe that's in like uh, the New Testament, and uh, <clears throat> you know when when two or, when when Aki and Mark gathered together, the Lord is there, and um, you know it, it, I'm reading verse 17. It says, "And they shall be mine," saith Yahweh of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spared his own son that serves him. So we're considered the Lord's jewels. In, in his eyes, because that's um, it says in Joel three, um, you know, uh, will you render me a recompense? Thou hast sold my my taking my gold, my silver, my goodly precious things. Even even the children of Israel are considered the Most High's gold, silver, and goodly precious things, because these heathens have. Not just stolen our, our possessions, not just stolen our gold and silver and our, our homes and everything back in ancient times. They stole the people. They they took the people as possessions, you know. And that that's gonna be turned around and and, and done unto them, you know, because it says in um in uh, Obadiah that the Most High that the children of Israel shall possess their possessions, and that means their 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 gold, their silver. Their precious stones, their homes, their lands, their 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 children, their 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 people, you know, will be our possessions to them, you know, just like we were their possessions. So I'm gonna say all praise on the glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahshai, Bashem Hakadosh, the barns to the other apostles, a great millstone. Citations to Yahweh, teach all truth and sincerity, and Shalom.